can you create consistency here in Ideogram? Now, I believe that you can, and I'm going to actually show you a bunch of examples as well. Now, all of these which you see here are for kids' short stories. So over here on the right-hand side, these would be the book covers. I know they're back to front, but obviously this is what I created first, then the second, then the third, and then the fourth. So that's why it's kind of back to front. But nonetheless, over here, we have the book covers, and then on the left is the story, and this would be page one, page two, page three. So this one is Ollie the Orange and the Runaway Bow Tie. We have a little orange with a bow tie. Then the first page would be Ollie the Orange loved his big green bow tie. It was bright and made him feel extra fancy. Whenever he rolled through the orchard, and then obviously it would be the next page and the next. Now, as you can see, this is a consistent character. It's the same on this one as well. Now, how have I actually been doing this? Well, it's with some custom-made GPTs, which I personally made. So, I have three of them. I have this one, which is a short stories generator. So, this creates the short story for me. I then take it to my second GPT, which is my book cover prompt generator. So, all I have to do is input the story, and it's going to give me a fully formatted book cover prompt, and for ideogram and then i have the third one now this one doesn't quite look the same because this is something which i'm still actually working on but with this one well in fact let me just show you because right here this is the first gpt where i created this story and it's ollie the orange and the runaway bow tie i then took that story plugged it into my second gpt which then gave me a bunch of different prompts which I started to create the cover with. And then with the third one, this is where I can input my story and also my book cover prompt, and then it's going to split up the story, give me a short illustration description of what each page should be as well, and then it's going to spit them out in my prompt style. So if we look here, this is the story, of Ollie the Orange and the Runaway Bow Tie. If we scroll down, it's then broken up the story for me. So we have page one, and then we have the first part of the story, along with an illustration description on what that page should be. And it does it for every single page. Now, this is pretty cool because after that, and after I've created the first variation of the book cover, I can then plug in my book cover as well to get a description of my character. I can then make that description shorter and then have it added into every future prompt created. Now, that's one of the main things that really helps as well. When you have a description of your character or whatever it is that you want to create within your prompts and in the same prompt style that does help create consistency, but there's still quite a few moving parts. But nonetheless, once I've done that, I can simply put, make me a prompt for this, which is page one. And again, it's going to give me the illustration description as well. But then I put, here is my book cover prompt. And then I put that there. And then every prompt spat out is going to be in the same style is going to have the first sentence as well of that story in the same font style with a description of my character and the setting as well. And then I can go through and do that for every single prompt. So this is for page two. This is for page three. Now, these are my custom made GPTs and they're inside the Ultimate Kids Story Generator. Now, if you want to check this out, there is going to be a link down in the description. But there is a couple of things that you need to know. This is currently $34.99 until the 21st of Feb. On the 21st, the price is going to go up to $49.99 until the 28th of February. Then after that, it will no longer be available to purchase for a couple of months 
while I update and, and add even more GPTs. Now, if we come here, the Bedtime Story GPT is currently available. The Book Cover Prompt Generator is currently available. But the third one, the Story Builder, which is this one just here, this isn't available until this Friday the 21st. So please keep that in mind as well. But nonetheless, if you do want to come and check this out, there is going to be a link down in the description. Now, if we come over to here, let me show you a bunch more examples on what I've been creating. So this one is Ollie the Orange and the Runaway Bowtie. I really like this. And as we can see, it did keep the consistency of the orange. Now, like I said, that is a lot more factors that goes into creating a consistent character here in Ideogram. And you do have to have a lot of patience because is it easy? No, it's not. Is it doable? Yes, it is. But it's not that fast. So you can't actually do this really, really quick and create a whole book. Again, it does take some patience. Now, if we look here, this one is Lenny the Shoe with rainbow laces. And this one says, Lenny the Red Sneaker sat alone in the dusty, lost and found bin of Maplewood School. His rainbow laces shimmered faintly, and then obviously there'd be the next page. Now, if we look on here, there is a few issues which I would have to sort out. I'd probably take that Lenny out, but that would come when you're editing all of your interior, but I reckon these sneaker ones turned out really, really good because the character, which is the sneaker, is very consistent. Now, if we look at this one, this one is Tilly the Turtle and the Purple Shell. Now, I really like how this one turned out with the font style as well. And it goes, Tilly was no ordinary turtle. Her shell was a deep, dazzling purple. When the sun hit it just right, and then again, it would be the next page. Then I have this one just here. I really liked this, but I don't like how bright this one is compared to these. But this would just come down to quality control. This isn't me creating a book to actually go and sell. This is me playing around, getting consistency, so I can nail that down. But this one is Felix the Fox and his glowing tail. Felix was no ordinary fox. His tail glowed like a lantern in the dark. His bright blue eyes sparkled like the summer sky. And then again, it would be the next page and next page. Then I have another one just here, which I really liked. And that's Zylo, or Zelo, the otter's floating adventure. Zylo, the otter, had the fluffiest brown fur and a bright pink tail. The other otters love to tease him about it. Now, this one right here, this doesn't quite look the same colour as these ones, and I'm not quite happy with that tail because it's not quite as bushy. But if we click onto this one and just go past a few, we can see just here, this one actually is the exact same colour and more in line with the rest of the pages. But nonetheless, I reckon this one turned out really good as well. And then I have one more just here, which wasn't the best. We can see with this owl, that the wings aren't quite right either, so this one was quite a bit of a flop. But nonetheless, I really liked the style of the owl and with the blue sun glasses. But as you can see, it is very, very possible to create consistent characters here in Ideogram. And again, it does take a lot of patience. So whereas with Midjourney, it's actually pretty easy to create consistency now with all of the features that they have, but here in Ideogram, it is a little bit more tricky. But with the release of my new GPT inside the Ultimate Kids Story Generator, this is going to make it a lot more easier to create that consistency. And again, if you do want to come and check this out, just be aware it's not available yet. It will be available this Friday on the 21st, but nonetheless, there is going to be a link for this down in the description. Now, if you enjoyed this video at all, don't forget to give me a like, as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.